Hey everyone, I'm Michelle Krista Smith and thank you so much for following me on this journey. I just hit 50,000 subscribers on my Facebook page and that is absolutely incredible. So in celebration of that, I wanted to show you guys how I build my staves. I get asked this question a lot about what the weight and the length of my staves are and I always come back to the same answer. It's all about your own personal preference. And for me, I'm really picky about the weight and the length of my staff just based on the work that I do with them. So today, I'm gonna take you through the process of building your own cheap, do-it-yourself staff. So here we are, we are at Home Depot, where any hardware store is gonna work, but what we're looking for are wood dowels and some flat metal washers. So we're gonna go inside and do that. Here is what we're looking for. So this is a selection of four foot wood dowels. And you can go with whatever diameter you like. I like these one inch diameter ones. So they're not, they're not very big. It's about one inch of the diameter. And what you're looking for, since it's already pre-cut, you're looking for a stick that's really straight. You see how this one kind of curves to the left? So I'm going to put that one back and find a different one. I'm sweating from walking here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go find some little metal flat washers that are going to go on the very end of this and that's what's going to give us some of the weight that we need. And the reason I do that is because the stick is really light and when I'm doing a lot of the rolls or contact work, it's, it's, it's a lot easier if there's a little bit more weight to the stick so it clings to your skin. It's totally not necessary, it is totally an optional step, but we're going to go find those metal washers now. Here we are, we are in the bulk section of Home Depot. So what we're looking for is some flat metal washers. Here we are, flat metal washers. We're looking for a 3 8 size. And you're gonna grab a couple of these. I usually put about three or four on each end. So that's gonna add Quite a bit more weight and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna match it to the very end these ones fit perfectly so these are the ones I've done this before I know what we're looking for so I'm gonna get about eight of these little flat little metal washers and of course if you have anything else that you want to add on to the end of this stuff that's totally cool but this is what I found works best for me got my haul I got my little metal washers I got my four foot one inch wooden dowel and now all I have to do is pay for it and I'm gonna show you how cheap this really is to make your own staff. And here's why these staves are so great. So I just bought a four foot wood dowel and eight metal washers at 24 cents each and I paid eight bucks. So I just bought myself a staff that I can control the weight and the length for eight bucks. Now the reason this is so great is because if you go into a martial arts store or buy your staff online, you're gonna be paying between 50 and $200. And when you're just starting, you don't know if that staff is gonna work for you. So this is a really great beginning option, but also it's just a really great option to have around if you're just working at different lengths and different weights to find that perfect sweet spot that you're looking for. I'm really picky with the weight and length of my staff. I learned on a very short stick, so I tend to get really frustrated with the longer staffs. So I find that this four foot length is a really great compromise between the two. And you can always go shorter, you can always go longer, but it's just nice to have that one tool that you really enjoy using so that it encourages you and motivates you to practice more. And we all need to practice more. So now that we've got our stick all worked out, we're gonna go find some tape. Again, tape is completely optional. It is not necessary to the staff. It's more of an aesthetic thing. 
Uh, if you're like me and have a little bit of sweaty hands, the tape can be really good in the sweat absorption. Kind of gross, but it's the truth. So what we're looking for is hockey tape. Now, if you don't live in Canada, you may know this as athletic tape. You can find it in most sporting goods stores. Here in Canada, we get it at Canadian Tire and there's a whole section dedicated to hockey tape in multiple colors. So that's what we're gonna go find right now. Okay, we're in the hockey section. This is a very Canadian place. The store is called Canadian Tire. Um, and then you're just looking for this Renfrew hockey tape. Now we use this in the circus industry as well on like hoops and various apparatuses. So you might use black, you have white. Then you down here you have an assortment of all sorts of fun colors. You've got blue, green, the Canadian, Toronto Maple Leafs, which is slightly odd because we're in Vancouver right now and the Canucks are a team, but they didn't make the playoffs, so maybe that's why. Um, yellow. Never seen this yellow one before. That's super bright. I'm quite particular to red. I really like red. I also have pink. This pink tape is a thing. Um, if you're feeling like superhero, you can get Batman. They also have Superman. Good old Canadian tape. And then camouflage but be careful you want to be able to see your staff uh, so this is about six bucks five and a half dollars for this tape I have probably a roll in every color so I'm not gonna buy one today because I have some red stuff in my bag right now so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna tell you how to put this all together using this Renfrew hockey tape so here is my basket O tape I have Tons and tons of hockey tape. I thought I had red. I said I had red. I totally don't have red. So I'm gonna have to use a different color. This is also another option. This is aluminum foil tape. And this is what I use on my stabs to make them look like they're metal. Um, I can show you an example of that. I won't wrap this staff like that. I'm just gonna show you how I put together just a really basic staff. And I think I'm gonna use this green. Yeah. Okay, so have my stick. Have my little metal washers. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the little metal washers on the edge of my stick. And I'm gonna do that one at a time and I'm gonna use the same tape. Uh, this, again, this isn't necessary. You don't have to do this. You might find the staff is perfect without them. So just flip it around for a little bit and then if you think that you need a little bit of weight, then you can start adding weight. It's definitely something that you will add to your staff as you gain more experience, you'll know whether you want that or not. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you how I tape these on. Now we're gonna tape the middle and I usually tape about a third of it so that again that's up to you you don't have to do the whole thing you could just tape the whole thing if you just wanted a staff of the same color but I'm gonna do just just the middle third here so that's it that took me a six minutes to make and about twelve dollars to buy so this is a super easy do-it-yourself version. I use these staffs all the time. I actually prefer these to the more professional staffs that you're gonna get in a martial arts store because this one, it's perfectly weighted. It's the perfect length for me and I love it. So try this out at home. And again, if you don't want to see these ends, you don't have to tape the ends or you can cover it with aluminum tape, which makes it look like a badass metal staff. All of that is up to you. It's your own personal preference, but good luck making your own staffs. I hope I see your videos soon. And since we're here, why don't you subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a comment, share, like, do all that stuff. There's a button down below, it's super easy. And you might as well head over to my Facebook, it's Michelle C. Smith, and give me a like there if you haven't already. And why don't you find me on Instagram, at michelle.c.smith, 
give me a follow and I would love to hear from you guys. So don't forget to comment, like, and share and do all of that. Until next time, I'll see you then.